Whether you want to create a face swap or a hybrid animal, the basic principle of combining images are the same. You will work with layers and masks. So I will show you how to do this. So I've started with a basic open file and I have two graphics that I'm going to bring in. One is an eagle and you see when it comes in as an X, I have to hit enter to place it. The other one is the dog. Same thing with an X, enter to place it. Now you can see my two graphics on the side here have a little icon to them, which means they're linked image. So I want to right click on that and rasterize the layer. So they're actual images I can edit in this instance of Photoshop. Now, so I have the dog and I have the eagle and you notice the eagle is looking in the other direction, but the light is coming from the front of the eagle. In the case of the dog, the dog is looking the other way, but also the light is coming from the front. So that will help us when we combine the image. Now, I want to put the eagle's head on top of the dog, so I'm going to drag that layer, put it above, and uh, then I have to figure out the right size. So I want to go to my selection tool. I want to make sure my show transform controls tools are on, so I can take that image and I can resize it. And you want to hold your shift key so you don't stretch it inadvertently, um, like this. So let me do that again. Shift, let go of the mouse before you let go of the shift key, and you've got your, your eagle. Now, in this case, that's a little small. I'm going to make him bigger again. I also need him to look the other way, so I can go under Edit, Transform, and Flip Horizontal, so he looks the other way. And I can't really see where he's ending up in front of the dog. So I'm going to take my opacity, bring my opacity down somewhat so I can see that, and then I can rotate him, and I can see to get him in more or less the right place. So that looks pretty good, and I think the size is pretty good. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so he looks a little bit more imposing. There we go. I'm going to hit enter to apply that change, and I'll bring my opacity back. So now I have to remove the background out of the eagle. So I'm going to take my quick selection tool, and I'm going to draw over the parts that now it selected the entire eagle, that's no good, so I'm going to go select, deselect. This time I'm going to try just with the head, and that actually did a pretty good job. I'm also going to include some of his body on the plus side here. I'm going to add a little bit of a body so I can blend that in, in case I, I find that that will work better. Uh, so I'm going to include a little bit more of the image than what I need. And now I'm going to click on my layer ma on my mask. So now I've got it masked off. Now I'm going to see how this blends in. So I've got my mask selected. I'm going to go to a brush. I'll make sure the brush is rather large and has a soft edge and is black here. So I'm going to add to my mask and I'm going to brush it in here and see how that blends. And that blends pretty good, but I don't actually like the shade of brown with the fur and the, the hair of the eagle. So I'm going to go back to my magic wand tool. Here. I'm going to click on the brown in a couple of places to make sure I get all that selected. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to go edit, fill, and I'm going to fill with black. That adds to my mask and has taken away all the rest of the brown of the eagle. So that's pretty good. Now the problem we have though is that the head of the dog is showing out from behind the head of the eagle. So I'm going to turn off the eagle layer and make sure I go to the dog layer. And just in case I mess something up, I'm going to make a copy of the dog layer by dragging it onto the layer tab. So now I've got a copy of the dog. I'm going to take my lasso tool. I'm going to lasso the head of the dog that I want to get rid of. And I'm going to try the Edit Fill Content Aware tool and see how good a job it does. So I'm going to click on that, say OK, let it do its thing. And that's pretty good. It's got rid of most of the dog, but I've got some random grass growing out of his head now, which I need to get rid of. So I'm going to go Select, Deselect, and I'm going to go to the Clone Stamp tool. The Clone Stamp tool copies information from one place to another. So if I hold down my Alt key, it creates a target, and it's going to start here. So very carefully, I'm going to go there and then move parallel over and pick it up so then my horizon line stays the same and I can draw in and I can clone the information. If you see the little X to the right you can see where it's grabbing the information from but I can fill it in this way. So now I've got a headless dog which works perfectly with my eagle in here. So overall not too bad but I'm still not perfectly happy with this. If I go to the eagle I'm going to shrink him down a tiny bit here to make sure he fits better on the body. 
Uh, now the color is wrong and from experience I know that matching a daylight photo like the dog with a sunset photo like the eagle with that red tinge is very difficult. Um, it's much easier to give the daylight photo an evening look than to make the eagle a daytime look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mask of the eagle. I'm going to go right click. Actually, I have to hit enter to apply the change for the eagle. I'm going to right click and add the mask to the selection. So I have the eagle selected. And because I don't want to change the eagle, but everything else, I'm going to go select inverse. So now I have everything else selected. And I'm going to go to my adjustment layers and I'm going to make a brightness contrast adjustment layers where I can make it a little darker, the image. So it's already getting later in the day. I'm going to copy again and go add mask to selection again. And I'm going to add a hue saturation one. So I can add a little bit more saturation, make the color a little bit richer. But the color doesn't quite match, so I've got to do one more. I'm going to go right click, add mask to selection again. And I'm going to do a color balance. And I'm going to bring in here and I'm going to bring a little bit more red into the image and take out a little bit of the yellow and it, now it looks a lot better match and you can keep playing with it so by alternating between these you can play with the different layers and sort of get different results for your for your image altogether so if you're pretty happy with that that's good so the last thing that's missing if you're making a hybrid animal is a description for the animal and i've prepared that ahead of time so i'm ready to go and my hybrid animal is finished